Hello guys, my name is Ash Moran, and this is my first movie review, and as you can tell by the thumbnail and the poster next to me, <clears throat> yep, it is James Bond, No Time to Die. Um, I'll keep it spoiler free as I can, it's a movie review, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you a mini, mini, mini plot uh, about it, as many as I can, which is about five seconds of it, and that's it, and um, yeah, I'll give you my thoughts and reactions. Also, it was in 4DX as well, so I'll talk about that after. But yeah, the film. Um, if you haven't seen Daniel Craig's first one, which was Casino Royale in 2006, that was the first Bond film that he did, all the way through to his fifth, his latest one, which is this one, right? You can't watch this one until you watch them all. It's all a continuum, like a continuance. So, James Bond's in retirement. Felix Leiter says, Bond... I need help. There's a bad eve, new technology, new tech, destroy the world. I need your help. And it goes from there. That's it. Um, a lot of people were saying in the newspaper, best Bond film ever, greatest Bond film ever seen, uh, movie to see before you die. No. Don't believe the hype. Um, it's a very good film. But not the greatest film that he's done of Bond. Um, I thought Skyfall was um, a bit better. Um, I thought Spectra was better. I thought Skyfall was better than Spectra in some parts. Um, but yeah, it's not the greatest film uh, of Daniel Craig's 15 year career as Bond in his fifth film. It's just not. Um, it's not is a lot of pe like the papers are just the papers, the media, the uh, the government, the, you know, um, you know the people are trying to sl sling it up as much as they can, which I totally understand because it is a very very good film, but it's not the greatest bomb film that I've seen. Um, reason why it well one it goes on for two hours and forty five minutes. There must be about 15, 10, 15 minutes, roughly, of talk in total. Maybe 20. Yeah, I'll say 15, 20 minutes of talking that don't need to be on there. You know, um, Rami, uh, Rami Malik, who plays the villain, I mean, him and him were having a, uh, a like I say, a minimal chat but it's not to do with the storyline it was just crap which i didn't understand um it made no sense like just talk about what you two are doing you know what i mean but it just you know you know it, it was just boring like it wasn't about the story that they were supposed to be it, it like they flew off topic it was crap i, I didn't understand there's a few scenes in there of um Bond's talking to oh, some other person, um, M. Rana Fine's character plays M, talking. Some of it don't need to be in there. Cut it out. Talking to Q, which is Ben, I can't remember his surname, an actor. I can't remember his surname. He's, he, he's a good Q. Ben something or other. Some parts don't need to be in there. Take it out. So if it's 2 hours and 40, 45 minutes, you can easily, you could take it out. You don't need it. Honestly, you, you just, you just don't need it. It could have been done with two hours, ten, two hours, fifteen minutes at max. Um, the ending was good. Um, I want to go up off topic, by the way, about battles of fortune scenes. Um, yeah, like the ending was good. There's no post credit scene. If you're really desperate to see a post credit scene, it's not rid of it. It's uh, it's it's literally three words at the end, which we all know what the three words are. If you're a real big, like a Bond fan like me, because I'm a James Bond fan, it's always the same. The three, like the three words or four words, and it's always the same. Um, but it's not, it's not really a post credit. That's for say. Um, like I said, the ending was good, not great. I understand why they did it. I do. I do understand why they did it. But there was other ways of doing it. 
Um, the action sequences were very, very good. Actually, really, really, really good. I praise them for that. It was decent. Um, I've seen some of like, the makings of it as well. And I like what I did with that. that I, I thought that was amazing. Really, really good. Um, the cars that he uses, uh, fantastic. Great. Which is understandable for the character that he plays. Locations were great. Um, the storyline was very, very, like, it's a very, very good, but not the greatest. But you have to watch, like I said, if you watch the films onwards, it, it, it just unravels and unravels and unravels more. Um, but yeah, I mean, um, the, the acting was good. Actually, to, you know, to the best of their abilities, it was actually good. There's a woman in it as well. Actually, there's a few females in it who are um, uh, agents. And, yeah. Um, they were very, very good. Yeah, it, um, <clears throat> as the papers keep pumping it up, it's the greatest film. It weren't the greatest film. You know, my first film was Pierce Brosnan Goldeneye. So he was like my hero. <clears throat> As a James Bond fan. And then I got used to the rest. Sean Connery, great. Roger Moore, great. Uh, George Lazenby, great. Oh, good. Timothy Dalton, good. Um, yeah. It, it, you know, if you think of the past. Even with like. If you put a Sean Connery film on, like a Sean Connery Bond film on now, they revamped it with Sean Connery as he was back then. That would make bucks way more money, way more better than his film today. But, like I said, I'm not going to down this film because it ain't, it's a very good film. If um, It's not one of those that I'll quickly get on 4k or blu-ray or dvd or digital copy whatever i'm not gonna lie um but if i've you know i've saved a bit of money and i thought oh look it's it's out now i might get it or i might let it drop down in price then that's when i'll probably do it um but if you, even if it's in 4k i you know it great picture like i said the locations the action scenes were fantastic uh, acting was really, really good. Directing was really, really good. It, it, it was just the storyline was good, but not great. The ending was good, not great. The talking in it where, like I said, 15, 20 minutes at the max needed to be cut out. Two hours and 45 minutes. It should be two hours 30, probably less than that. But other than all, that's my movie review. Um, oh, seating 4DX. To be fair, you should see it in 4DX. First time I did 4DX um, ever with the bomb, uh, and it was a bomb film. And yeah, I can't wait. To, uh, when the Matrix come out and John Wick 4 and stuff like action things come out, I will be seeing that in there and I'll give my movie review straight away because it was, you know, really, really good. I saw one at the IMAX uh, Leicester Square and it was really fantastic. But other than that, yeah, that's my movie review. No, it's short. Um, and I'm going to probably do more to get better and better and better um, my movie review uh, as it goes along. But yeah, um, thank you very much for the 49 subscribers. Really fortunate. I have appreciated you guys subscribing. If you are new, subscribe. So we did a lot more um, movie reviews, reviews, reactions, uh, NFL streaming and updates and whatever on video called and stream. Um, thank you very much for watching, guys. And I'll see you guys uh, on the next video.